update 13, probably the worst update for Forza Horizon 4 we have ever seen, but I'm going to talk about what we get in it and what cars we get anyway. If you're new around here, please subscribe and check out my other stuff, you'll probably enjoy it, so yeah, might as well stick around. So I'll get into the updates first, pretty much there's nothing to talk about through the updates, like the next game update is update 14 where they've teased it a root creator thing, that, that, that's it. It's terrible. But we do have quite a few new cars, well it's five and four of them are Porsches, so we've got the Porsche 906, it's alright, don't know if I'll use it. We've got a Porsche 917 LH, that thing looks insane, I will be using that. We've got a Porsche 356 SL, we've also got the Porsche 718 Cayman GTS, that is a beautiful looking Porsche, and we also have the ID Zeruno, pretty much it's an Italian supercar and it does actually look quite cool. It's actually a really nice looking car to be honest. I think the wheels are what make it look a lot more aggressive as well. It's got a very aggressive front end, I quite like that. The back's pretty cool with that spoiler as well. Like Overall, it's a very nice looking car. It'll be good for some photography. These will be all coming through season championships, etc. Stuff like that, you know, the normal stuff. But yeah, update 13, not a lot really happened. All we've got is a few new cars. I think there's a few new events as well because they always had events. So yeah, update 13 overall. Not a lot to talk about, not a lot going on. So I'm actually going to end the video here, so thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy this, find this useful, subscribe if you're around here. If you enjoyed this somehow, or just check out my other videos, you'll probably enjoy them. I'd really appreciate it if you did that, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy, but until next time, guys, take care. Please don't tell me down.